Hello, beautiful goddesses. Today, I wanted to share a technique to help you connect with your emotions as we continue down this path of talking about um, trauma responses and how to heal that and how to how to work on that yourself and techniques that you can try at home. Um, this technique that I'm going to show you today is called EFT or also known as tapping. Um, and if you want to know more details about what tapping is, because I'm not going to go into all of the nitty gritty, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, type up a blog post with all of the details of where it comes from, what it is, how it works. Um, but essentially, it's uh, acupuncture, self-acupuncture without the needles. You're just using your, your hands um, and connecting your emotions. Uh, I, If you see me looking a little... <laughs> strange today. I wanted to do this, record this video when I was being faced with an emotion. Um, and right now I'm being faced with some pretty big anxiety. Um, and I feel like I, I can feel my trauma response, right? I am usually a fawner or I flee. Those are my trauma, my typical trauma responses. And I can feel myself trying to flee from this emotion. Um, and block it out or disassociate from it. Uh, and one of the biggest steps to healing from your trauma and your trauma responses is to step outside of it and acknowledge that it's happening, right? Acknowledge the emotion that's happening, face it. So whether it is a flashback, the EFT is used a lot for PTSD patients, um, veterans, it's been used for veterans um, as well. So it's really good when you're having flashbacks or emotions coming up that you don't know why they're being triggered, stop yourself, allow yourself to face that. Or if you don't have a moment, if you're in a situation where you don't have a moment, take a few deep breaths, write yourself a reminder and come back to it. But it's really important when healing from any type of trauma, that you acknowledge what you're feeling. Acknowledge it and love yourself anyways. So for EFT tapping, the first step is identifying what you are feeling and you wanna be specific. And when you go through an EFT tapping, um, you wanna focus on one emotion at a time. So right now, my focus is going to be anxiety. Um, that is, I'm feeling deep anxiety. I'm shaky. My heart is racing. <sighs> Definitely major anxiety. And then I'm going to sit here on a scale of 1 to 10. How anxious do I feel? <sighs> I would say my anxiety right now is a... On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it's a 7, possibly an 8. It's pretty it's pretty up there. Um, yeah. So then we're going to start the EFT process. So 7 or 8 is where I am. Um, we're going to start. I'm going to show you the points first before we start. So the first point is the karate chop point, which is just the padding. And uh, I like to use, I'll, I'll show you how many fingers I use, but typically I do two here. And then we're going to move to the top of our head here. I'm going to take off my glasses so I won't be able to see you. Um, if you guys have comments or questions, I will get back to them after the video. Um, just because I'm blind, it's hard to respond to live comments. But we'll start with tapping the head after the karate chop. The next point is right above the eyebrows, right here. I use two fingers, four fingers for the head, two fingers for above the eyebrow two fingers for the side of the eye, kind of by the edge of your eyebrows. And then we'll move to under your eye. And we'll move to under your nose, your chin. And I like to press pretty firmly. Um, you don't have to like smack yourself by any means, but I, I mean, I put some force into it. You can kind of hear it tapping. The next one you're going to do is your collarbone. I use all four of my fingers for this. I just tap. And you, I don't know if you can hear it in the recording or not, but you can kind of hear my voice. Uh, like you, you, again, want to put some force into it. And you want to tap just the general collarbone area. And I kind of move in and out as I'm tapping this area to make sure that I hit the acupuncture point. 
The next one is going to be under your arm. So this is going to be uh, for the ladies out there, kind of be where your bra strap goes across. So just kind of like a hand down from your armpit. So right here. And you can do either side. You can do one side. You can do both sides, whatever you are feeling. And then we'll come back to the karate chop to end. And recheck in. See where we are. See if we need to do another round. All right, so I'm um, gonna get my glasses off. I what I say is how I'm feeling, followed up by I deeply love and accept myself. So right now I am feeling major anxiety. I deeply love and accept myself. I am feeling overwhelmed with anxiety. I deeply love and accept myself. The anxiety comes from the curiosity if I'm gonna be able to support a family with a new baby coming. I deeply love and accept myself. I worry that I am failing my family, which builds my anxiety. I deeply love and accept myself. My body is trembling with anxiety. I deeply love and accept myself. I fear I am not enough. I deeply love and accept myself. I worry that I will lose my job but I deeply love and accept myself. I am anxious about the state of the world and bringing another human into it. I deeply love and accept myself. I am overwhelmed with anxiety. I deeply love and accept myself. I am anxious and I deeply love and accept myself. And after we come back to this karate chop point, we're just gonna pause, take a deep breath into your belly, out your chest, deep breath. And exhale slowly like through a straw. And check in with yourself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is that feeling now? I would say mine dropped to a 4. My heart has slowed down. My body's not tensed or shaking. I'm not on the verge of tears anymore feeling more calm. So I have moved from a seven slash eight to a four, just doing one round. And the beauty about it is you can stick to that same emotion and repeat again and then check back in. Are you still a four? Did you go down to a one? You know, and, and just keep repeating the process until you feel like you've connected with that emotion. I know that I kind of went through different emotions that were coming up as you're doing that, it's okay to not just say, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, but whatever is coming up for you as you feel that anxiety. For me, a lot came up with finances. Um, I support my family with my job and there's just a lot of struggle and bringing in another kid on top of that struggle, it's, 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 it's very overwhelming and that was the source of my anxiety, right? So you're allowed to not just say that you're anxious, but what's coming up with that anxiety? Where is it coming from? And just let the words come out of your mouth. Allow yourself to feel it. Say it out loud as you're doing it. It's very important. And uh, this will help you make that connection with your emotions. Now, as I share more tips and tricks for navigating this, navigating this healing process, 
not, it's going to be foreign at first. It's going to feel strange and that's normal. Give it a genuine try. Give it a couple tries. Some techniques will work really well for you. Some won't. And that's okay. Everybody is uniquely different. Everybody's healing process is going to be different. This is why I'm going to share a variety of techniques and not just one. It's also worth noting that some techniques will work for you at certain points in your life and other techniques are going to work better for different situations. So it's just about experimenting, excuse me, and getting to know yourself and knowing what you need in that moment to overcome that, that, that feeling or to face that feeling or to heal that piece of you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the EFT tapping. Again, if you have questions, I will get to your comments after this video. Um, also, if you are wanting uh, a blog post that dives more into the meridian points and what EFT tapping is, let me know in the comments. I will get a blog typed up and post about it a little bit later and share that with you guys. Or you can DM me for more information as well. Uh, more techniques to come on this. Thank you guys for experiencing this vulnerable uh, moment and emotion with me so that I could share this technique with you and sending you guys lots of love. Bye!